Last lesson we talked a little bit about electrical potentials and we set up this exciting experiment where I've got a piece of copper in some copper sulfate solution. And we said that there was an equilibrium being set up in this solution. And we said, okay, we can draw it. So we get ourselves a little beaker, into it goes our piece of copper. So that's copper. In my solution, there will be copper 2 plus aqueous. That will be one mole per decimeter cubed, like so. So I've got lots of copper 2 plus ions, and on there I've got copper. And we always write the equilibria with the most oxidized species on the left hand side. That's going to add two electrons, so it's in equilibria with copper metal. And what's happening is that little copper atoms could pop off and go into equilibria, and little copper 2 plus ions could pop on and go back onto the metal. So that's how I set this equilibria, and we said that the charge will build up on the electrode. Yeah? Could be positive, could be negative, who knows? Uh, we were happy with that. Okay, major problem. How do I measure that, uh, that sort of charge? What the charge is on that? Yeah, okay, okay, yeah. Let's go voltmeter. Voltmeter? Do we actually know if I draw it? I uh, don't worry about joining it yet, I'll talk about it later. Oh, well, I need another end, don't I? I've got to, you always compare the voltage against something else. So voltage is a potential difference. Oh. So I would have to compare it against so another one. Because there's another one charged in the solution. Yeah, but everything will. So what I do is I use what we call a standard hydrogen electrode, which we're going to talk about now, and we set the voltage of that electrode as zero. We come along, and as chemists, we say the voltage due to that electrode is zero, and so whatever I measure on this one is gonna be purely due to copper. So let's write a little bit about the standard hydrogen electrode. So the standard hydrogen electrode, first of all, I'm gonna define what an electrode potential is, and then we'll talk about the standard hydrogen electrode. So you've got to know this definition uh, off, you know, off by heart, because it's likely to come up. So here we go. Uh, shall we put a little subtitle? Uh, electrode? Standard electrode potential. Really important that you know this definition. It's given the symbol E, and then you've got your little spaceship or your like yeah, underground sign. Yeah. So the standard electrode potential of a half cell. Remember we said this was a half cell, this little bit of copper in the copper salt mix solution. That's a half cell. Uh, of a half cell is the voltage produced when the electrode is connected to a standard hydrogen electrode. It's a bit wordy, but thank you. And always remember your standard conditions They're 298 Kelvin, one atmosphere for any gases, and solutions always one mole per decimeter cubed. Next question, of course, is what is a standard hydrogen electrode? So, now rather than write standard hydrogen electrode, you have to if I just put SH in yeah. for sheet. <coughs> Is 
Is that what it's actually called, like short sequence? The standard Python electrode, yeah, that's the... Uh, Standard hydrogen electrode H with the um, Sorry. The, is there a sign for it, like the E one? No, no, no. The standard hydrogen electrode is the standard reference electrode. Um, and E standard for that one is equal to 0 0.00 volts. Let's draw it. Okay, so you've got to know how to draw this because it is kind of like quite a moment. Kind of. You've got your beaker. Oh, if I do the little, so let's do the equilibrium. The equilibrium we're looking at is A plus. Uh, half H2 gas. So that's the thing we're looking at, and E standard for this guy is zero volts. So what do I need? I need hydrogen gas and I need hydrogen ions. So in solution, I'm going to have H plus aqueous. Concentration is obviously going to be one mole per decimeter cube. But I've also got hydrogen gas knocking around. So the hydrogen gas I need to stick in my funny sidearm test tube. So in there that's H2 gas. Don't forget that's at one atmosphere pressure. That's gonna go in there. Oh, so I've got my little solution, H plus ions at one mole per cube. What else do I need? I need my electro, my bit of metal. Uh, so what metal do you reckon I'm gonna use? I'm gonna use Flat. Flat. Yeah. Sometimes I'm not ignoring you, I just don't hear you, I promise. Yeah, okay, whatever. Yeah. I'm getting old, I'll fix it. Is that a piece of wire? Yeah, it's just a piece of wire. Yeah. Did you hear what Hannah said? What? You're not that old. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> Uh, so, yeah, that's just, I've got to have a bit of metal there to conduct the electricity. So I've got to have metal too to get the electrons to go. Um, so, standard hydrogen electrode, you've got to be able to draw that. Does anybody think that's a bit mad? I always think it's a bit of a, a mad thing to choose as a standard, because it's not particularly easy to set up. We haven't got one in school, because I've got to show it to you. Um, so actually, uh, we normally have to do a double reference. It's a bit of a mad thing to choose, but hey, okay, no, no, chemistry queen. Mm -hmm. uh, so, how, how do we actually use the standard hydrogen electric in practice? Well, uh, relatively easily. So, if I wanted to do my copper guy, I would have in my solution, I've got my copper metal. In solution, I've got my copper 2 plus ions. Don't forget one mole per decimeter cubed. I then connect that with a wire, and I'll show you this in a minute, to a voltmeter. The other side of my voltmeter is going to be connected to my standard hydrogen electrode. Uh, the voltmeter, I'll show you. The voltmeter is just like a standard voltmeter, like this, like you've been using. And you attach platinum wire to it. Yeah, you just have the oh, The platinum wire is only this little bit. Okay. So that is, that's just a normal wire. And that is platinum that goes in this okay. test. It's that's like a join. Yeah, that's right, yeah. So in here, I would have H plus aqueous, and that's one mole per decimeter cubed. Here I've got H2 gas at one atmosphere pressure, like so. So fine and dandy. So I have got my platinum electrodes with hydrogen there. That is zero. So whatever I see on my voltmeter is purely due to my copper. 
This is zero. This does not give me any voltage at all. That's zero. I'm defining that. This, so anything I see on this voltmeter is purely due to my copper. Now, will I see a re reading on my voltmeter as it stands? No. Why not? Oh, no. Uh, what do you always need? Think back to your... I do need, yeah. This is going to generate electricity. What do I need for um, electrons to flow? To have a... Think back. I need a complete circuit. Yeah. Yay! So, those uh, GCSE physics is all worth it. Okay, so the way I do it is I connect these two up and this is called a salt bridge. Don't forget your salt bridge. You must see a complete circuit. If you don't, you will not see anything on that at all. And I'll demonstrate that. Do you make No. I like to think it. That would be amazing. Um, it's actually a piece of filter paper that's soaked, that's soaked in uh, a solution um, of potassium nitrate. <laughs> I love, I a love that built of salt. Yeah. I love that film so much. Not, not very good if it rains, though. <laughs> Don't damage yeah. Esther's brain. She's enjoying so her thoughts. I can do anything I want. So, if I wanted to change this, and I now wanted to measure, so this would measure this equilibrium. Copper 2 plus aqueous plus 2 electrons in with copper solid. That would be measuring that one. So that would give me the voltage due to that. Let's say I wanted to change it. So I'm going to keep this and I'm now going to measure this one here. Fe3 plus plus an electron in equilibrium with Fe2+, plus, and they're all aqueous. Watch for the two aqueous. How do I need to change this? This now has to become one mole per decimeter cubed Fe2+, plus aqueous. So the left side? I don't really know. There is no conventional way, but you don't need that for this one. Um, that's Fe3 plus aqueous. What would my copper become? Yeah, true. And that becomes okay. Then, if I've set that up, well, then my voltmeter is using that equilibrium. Then.